Okay, so this is a visual aid um, to, I'm going to be using it to try to orientate for the installation of my uh, solar flexible, semi-flexible solar panels. Um, um, I had moved away from deciding to try to do a custom panel right off, but if in the future I decide to come back to it, or just for visual aid purposes for somebody else, this could also be used for that. Um, but my purpose is going to be kind of using it to orientate to the roof. But anyway, here we go. So we start on the roof of the Insight and we go around the edges and the first thing we do is we take off 10 millimeters all the way around the edge at the trim. Um, and then we're going to start and section off 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter squares uh, starting here on the driver's side in the rear hatch as, as their zero zero origin. And then the numbering, so one and one. So one, two, three, counting up toward the front of the vehicle, and each number is a completed. So by the time I hit one, it's completed one cell. Um, and then moving across to the passenger side, it does the same thing. One, I've completed one. Okay? Um, now, like, just like for photography or an integral in mathematics, the smaller the pieces, the better you can approximate a curve. Um, and the thing to remember about the Honda Insights roof is that it does curve. You have a little bit of a curve here in the front, and then it also, as you can see, expands toward the front. So it's wider in the front than it is the back. And it also is a compound curve on the side as well. Um, so because of that, um, the smaller the square, the better you'll be able to get to those curves and utilize all of the available space. The other thing that you want to do is you want a little bit of a gap so that you can flex a little bit around those pieces. So anyway, come across the back, starting at the back where it's the smallest, we come to 16 completed cells in that first row. And that's going to complete for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows of the sixteen. And then by this point, the roof has gotten wide enough that we can now have seventeen per row for one, two, three, four rows. And then by this point, the roof has gotten wide enough that we can have eighteen per row for one, two rows. And then by this point, the roof is wide enough that you can have nineteen per row for one, two rows. And then in the front of the car, uh, these aren't complete 50 by 50, 50 squares, but there's this one last little row of 11 that we can get in the front of the car as well. Um, I guess the only other thing just to mention is that you'll notice here on the passenger side, it kind of curves off. And the reason for that is because uh, when it was drawn out, we held, or I held, the driver's side being full 50 squares, 50, 50, 50, going a full size, full width square, the whole driver's side. And so then as it expanded, it expands on the passenger side, creating what we saw over there. Okay, there you go. Um, so what that means is, is that altogether you have about um, a, a maximum possible of about uh, 313 uh, 50 by 50 squares. Um, the cell would have to be inside that 50-50 region, um, so the cell itself would probably be something like 48 by 48, or maybe as small as 45 by 45. Um, if you used the uh, Maxion, the Sun Power uh, cells, which as a 125 by 125 millimeter wafer is about 3.55 watts, um, cut down into these uh, smaller little squares, these 50 millimeter by, you know, like, like, uh, the, the 48 millimeter by 48 millimeter. Um, you probably get up um, close to about um, 160 something watts on the roof if you did that whole thing. And that's a nice thing. Um, the the semi-flexible panels I'm going to be installing are 120 watts, so it's a little less power, but it's pre-made, so it's a whole lot easier than trying to make a custom compounded curve panel out of a whole bunch of, you know, 313 little cells. Thank you.